All right, guys, welcome back to another edition of The Timmy Show. Um, just want to let you guys know, I uh, partook in a uh, Modern Horizons uh, pre-release today, and um, I only played in one. The prize payout for first place was eight packs, uh, so we got eight packs. Um, I wound up going, um, like I did online, going uh, red-black with a few ninjas, um, mainly a dragon heart that turns into a 4-4 hasty dragon with uh, sacrificing some goblin tokens and some other shenanigans that go on with the deck, but it was uh, quite a, a good deck and uh, won me eight packs, so I'll show you a little bit of Modern Horizons, but uh, this is the promo cards you got. And uh, not that it's really, really good. Um, the buy box promo was uh, Flutterstorm, uh, which is quite good. And uh, I think it will have a, an effect on the modern format uh, going forward. But that's our promo card. We'll go ahead and crack these. Token. And uh, your art card. And our first rare is uh, Mythic Ranger Captain of Eos. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card with converted one cost of one or less. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Shuffle your library. Sacrifice this. Your opponent can't cast non-creature spells. So that's pretty good. Um, Dream. Everdream. I'm not going to pronounce that card. Um, Undead Augur, which is uh, really good for uh, zombies. Uh, Mob is actually a really good card with the Convoke cost. Um, being able to convoke your creatures and, and maybe play this on turn three to kill uh, target creatures is really good. Um, you, you got a Shapeshifter. Um, Settle Beyond Reality. Geomancer's Gambit. Um... Behemoth, Mother Bear, The Witch, I Kite, Goblin Champion, which this is really good. Um, on turn one, you can swing in for one with this, but uh, other creatures later on gain a lot of different uh, things from this. So like a um, uh, turn three ninja being flashed in can you know, have the exalted cost. And this is actually a, a card for removal people play to... Um, so that's pack one. We've got a mythic right off the bat, which is really good. I don't think uh, the new Ranger at EOS is worth much, but it's something. So we got a goblin, uh, Jute, and we got the Queen Among Bears, which is it's a decent card. Um, I like it. Wall Blossom. Feaster of Fools, which is really good. Um, I've seen this cast a couple of times with the Kavok cost. Really good. Tribute Mage, which is another spinoff. Shenanigans. Another card, Shelter. The Axe, which gives um, every creature type, which can be really good at times. Tinder, one of my favorites on Earth. Can bring back Relentless Rats. Uh, this card's really good too, um, Smoke Shroud. Put on ninjas, and it's got the ability to come back. Um, and uh, Goat Nads, another another funny one. But all right, we'll go on to pack three. Ooh, a foil elemental token. The witch. A foil Nimble Mongoose. Altar of the Dementa. Well, <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce that. Uh, anyways, it's a it's a decent card. It's been reprinted, I think, now three times. So, uh, Cunning Invasion, Line of War Tribe. Our first Slither. I might have missed a common in the other one, but gives all your other Slithers on Earth. Man of War, which is really good. Uh, Knight of Old Medallia. Suspend for one. I've seen it a few times. It really didn't have an effect on any game. Um, this one does with the amount of slithers. Um, the new Jitte. Uh, instant spell, which is good. 
And uh, this is the card that I was talking about. Uh, War Party. Um, you're, with your Dragon Hearts, you're able on turn four to produce uh, goblins for it. And uh, it turns out to be really good. And then if you can entwine it later on and give your your goblins haste with all that, they could go, on turn seven, they could be swinging as two twos into the, the time they come in, along with other creatures you control on the battlefield. Also get the one one plus. So that's good. We'll go on to pack four. And we got another foil in our middle token. That's nice. Ah, we got a slither art. That's cool. Snow cover mountain. And we got we opened the bear. Now we open the bear's tool <laughs> for discard of lands to make make the bears. So back to back bear picks. Um and um Grave Shifter is another spinoff of um the um the old graveyard card and uh it's got changeling which kind of changes things it can be used as different different uh things pondering mage mine rake this one i've used a few times in the day um but uh deal three damage to target creature mostly to kill it um and then cowards can't block so as you know it could have different ramifications it makes where um changelings can't block the turn and maybe kill something else um, Lancer Slither, Room Tender, and, um, I've seen this card played a few times, uh, people trying to use it as a Slither, and draft a whole bunch of them, which, uh, is decent. Alrighty, we got a bird. Another... That's the uh, the new Cascade card, or it's pretty good. Snow cover, um, Plague Engineer, which is a spinoff of an old card too. But this is actually really good. I've seen this play today, which against me, which um, they named Goblin, and no longer can your one ones come in. Um, so sometimes, like on the other cards, your entwine cost, you might have to do it to make them survive the swing. But this has an effect on the game. Um, matter of fact, you get the cord in the, uh, so you get the, the orc cord and the cord in there. Hollow head sliver, uh, good. Um, this one is actually really, really good. So anytime you draw a card, you put a counter on it. It continuously gets bigger. I've seen it played in another game I wasn't playing. Another cord that I, I find deem high pick in a draft. Is probably this card right here um, because you're able to create an elephant it's got rebound you don't have to pay the rebound cost it automatically comes in gives you another elephant on your on your next turn so it's a really high value pick I think in this format um, rocks veteran weather the storm which has storm which is cool um, winter's rest headless specter Nimble Mongoose. And uh, I've seen this, but nobody played it. But I don't think it's, it's mana cost is really good for the format. Um, This is decent. Um, It draws a card, but I've seen Reckless, Reckless Charge a few times. And uh, Wall of the Thousand Cuts. All right. Go on to the next. All right, a foil goblin token and the art for a wall of a thousand cuts, a snow covered forest, the Cordell vampire, which is pretty decent. Um, anytime you have a, uh, another creature dies, um, you could put a counter on every vampire you control, but if you have changelings with it, it gets really good. Etchings of the chosen talisman. Ingenious Infiltrator, which is a, another decent, um, decent ninja. You can uh, play that on turn uh, two if you have a one drop, and uh, which a lot of people are playing the um, 
the changeling one one vampire on turn one and then bleaking things like this on on turn two it gives them a real advantage and uh is really good the old cycle core iceberg once again ma which is good and uh that is really good mother bear the witch i like and uh, one of my favorites goblin war party and another uh wall of the pounds and cuts so we've seen a lot of commons in, in these packs that are real i mean the same so you're able to get a lot we got a spirit full art and uh snow covered swamp foil rare crushing uh foot footfalls <laughs> sorry uh you get to put in two rhinos and neither spirit at the beginning of your upkeep you may put in the in your graveyard you may return it to the battlefield which is good generous gift and they made these uncommon cycle less romantic core and another one of my favorites so this card you can play with um the dragon heart um so you play this on turn two then on turn three you play the dragon heart um sacrificing this it comes back as a, a one one with a neg one or a two two with a neg one one neg one counter on it but it stays around you can block with it or sacrifice it to another um another one that comes in but a really really good card um elvish fury prohibit rim tender on earth choking tether spawn horde minotaur which is okay sometimes and then your imposter that's really good so last pack we'll see what we get we got one mythic another mythic would be good but i think our pools are decent and the changeling which looked like eldrazi but all right we got fiery inlet one of the new sacrifice lands and i'm glad to get one um so that's real worth it splicer skill put in a golem cultivator tempered slither so i got some slithers um i didn't get the one i wanted the first slither for my commander deck but oh well i'll get one soon enough defile is another really good card i played it uh, quite often and uh, as a removal spell so you could pretty much take care of anything with the number of swamps you could have in play um, the the biggest I've taken care of was a 4-4 with defile later in the game but uh, it's really good so another nimble mongoose I think I probably got a play set out of the packs I opened another one of those which not playable um, this is okay. I've seen this enchantment once and they made it into an angel a lot of times and swung in with it. So it was good. String of Disappearances. Lava Dart, which is really good with flashback, but um, and Mortar. So, alrighty, guys. Well, that was it. We got one Mythic out of the bunch. And um, I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the new cards. But uh, hopefully, uh, We'll get a bunch in next week. I'll get another box in from Channel Fireball. We could give that a spin and open it. But uh, I hope you enjoyed. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend.